How about this venue, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Todd Grisham, and we are live here at the one-of-a-kind Empire Fight Camp. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. Time for our tale of the tape. And yet... Muhammad Ali, the great... Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber. Fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. If this fighter knows how to use that reach, this is going to be a shut night. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing. The only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Fighting out of the blue. A lot of pre-match drama. Great to have you with us for this all-action affair. We expect big things, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed. <laughs> He just misses with that jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Nice exchange here from both men. That left counter was perfectly timed. Oh, that punch! Keep an eye on the slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. <laughs> That's a scoring left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. There's the bell to start round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. He just missed with that left jab. Counter punching. Just with that uppercut. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is the young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness! I admire these guys. This is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. 
got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drum, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna land. <laughs> He just misses with that big right hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there. On to the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> That's counter scores. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. Then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, tap and match made in heaven. Both men step back in just a moment. And wait a minute, a left hand lands. He misses with that jab. What a punch. Now the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too weak? Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. heard the phrase finding a second win i don't think i need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it what can they change they can change their attitude they can change their their nervous system around because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. <laughs> Big right hand just misses. <laughs> Offensive display landing that left counter. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He carries that left hand away. Perfect counter lands. One of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore. They are giving us a high tempo show. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counterpunch will score. 
The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second. And here's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on there. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. So once you draw first blood talk, that's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Punch scores. This fighter is going to be death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put it in there. I think you see more accuracy. I know the score cards are going to be all over the place in this one. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. So let's on to the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Punch, counter punch. He misses with that jab. Good left counter that lands. That left hand misses. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice job by him to block that jab. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. And the oh no! Ali is down! One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And there's the bell for round seven. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. There's 
no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That punch lands. Beautiful counter punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. I've seen it happen so many times. Don't take things for granted. They exchange punches. That left shot lands. Spider has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. <laughs> After what we saw in that last round eight, and we're off again. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He misses with that jab. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. <laughs> this fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring and feel like your King Kong because you know you got a gym that is not going to get denser. <laughs> There's a counter shot. Good counter punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Great counter right hand there. He got out of the way that right hook. And a counter left. Good counter punching for both these athletes. It's all offense all the time. Nice exchange here from both men. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Starting to get tired as we start round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. Just being hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Second win. He's got to find it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through is willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Neither man really defending themselves. 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. I've seen it happen so many times. Don't take things for granted. Still swinging with nothing left. Not a lot of defense here at all. These men showing exceptional chance, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. got the advantage so far but how does this match get turned around you can't leave it up to the judges it's up to you as a fighter and the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Lands with the right counter. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes, it's so hard to actually get a boxer fight and beat them on points. He missed with that jab. That jab doesn't find a home. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Great when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You just got to use brain then. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think you just gotta be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little Vega, the big fucking man. Perfect counter shot. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter. He is down big time on the scores. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Championship rounds, round 11. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. And the right can find a home. 
Down our left hand there. How much confidence do you build when your opponent hits you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be catching yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Deontay Wilder just got... Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight's capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a... And Deontay Wilder just got... Ten seconds here, and this. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. Like I got a brand new contract, yeah. Armed the dangerous and ready for combat. I went over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck.
We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time now for our tale of the tape. The Bronze Bomber. Six foot seven inches tall. The Bronze Mahat. The fans are ready. We're expecting an all-out offensive display. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Beautiful counterpunch. Neither man really defending himself. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. Use speed, frustrate them, take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Nice counter shot. Left counter score. Beautiful counter shot. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. He fails to score that left hook. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. That left counter was perfectly timed. Same action. He misses with that jab. He threw the hook, didn't land. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counter left hand there. Bell was sweet music to his ear. Here we go, it's round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come up to put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Please. is coming from every angle. Perfect counter land. There's a right hand. Nice counter shot with the right hand. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Exchanges from both men in this round, and he just misses with that jab. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect. Man. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. A big whiff with the right hook. Good job landing that left counter punch. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That left counter punch will score. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. On to the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
That was a tough flash round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until you're sent to the comeback. Exchange punches. I'm not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want that heavy fist. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. And he misses with the left uppercut. Changes from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these guys can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Here we go to the fourth round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. We've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters. Oh, we just got and down goes Deontay. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. What resilience to be down and to be back again, to get yourself back into fight again. Show your fitness and determination. Maximum respect. Good punch. Good counter punch. Counter right hand again. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Counter right. Let's see how the game... And there's the bell for round five. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a he's got a block. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Watch out, that's the fight, beat them on points. This 
this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Nice exchanges from both men in this one. The jab just got blocked. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Both men step back for just a moment. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I promise you, all three judges here. Raise the bell to start round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. No rest for the weary. Nice counter shot. That counter shot lands. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. He blocks the hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Punching for both these athletes. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. As he weathered the storm, disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Doing. There's nothing behind these punches. Very close round, 10 seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. From this moment forward. And there's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Oh, Wilder just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. <laughs> There you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.
don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pounds just told them, but the squad gets scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not at home, and still might have to grill a brother like foreman. <laughs> when my dark start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you think that it's autumn. Yo, I can't stand these rap boys, feel to eliminate all. That's right. I'm trying to raise this stack boy so tall that it might fall. That's Top strike arm and a lick off the goal, so anything I set I achieve and more. Blah. Soon bring the man them on some kind of tour. Yeah. No flicker bottles in my rider report. I don't know why they would step to the team and I'll send man airborne like fly beat. Go. Come like this at some sci-fi scene when I lace this magic on these type of beats. Woo. I don't want to hear no talk from a dweeb. You don't respect me if you don't pay my fees. True. If you don't respect me, then please better back out the way of this heat. I'm Todd Grisham. The crowd cannot wait to witness this one. We're live at the CompuBox Academy. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six foot nine inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. And his opponent, Tyson Fury. He is the greatest, Muhammad Ali, fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Assume. Now what we gonna do right here? Is settle the score. Look around you. We got a whole room full of monsters. We gonna shut it down like this. Let's go. What a night for a fight. We're at Brooklyn Hall. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. Time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. And his opponent, smoking Joe Frazier, only six feet tall even. 229 pounds, but he hits harder than any man alive. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. He is the... Smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles... All the talking has been done. It's and there's the bell for round one. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Neither man really defending themselves. That counter shot lands. Perfect counter lands. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Counter right hand again. Here's a chance for Joe Frazier to make it 2-2 against Ali after their first epic three fights. So Ali has proved why he is the man. Ali has proved he's got in there and beaten a man that beat him. Now the two starts are fighting each other. This is that fight. 
Ali knows exactly what he's gonna do, but he knows it's not a pushover because Joe Fraser has no respect for him whatsoever. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, and just like the match made in heaven. <laughs> Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Left punch. Lands with the right counter. He got out of the way of that right hook. Offensive display landing that left. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. They exchange punches. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Stop. Here's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Both of these men showing exceptional trends, by the way. And a counter left. Through the hook, didn't land. He gets out of the way of that left hand. That left counter punch will score. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants you to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is, Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout, that's an assassination. What a shot.
Hello, fight fans. I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the WBC Arena. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters. The Gypsy King himself. The great... Not too many seats. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Both men step back for just a moment. <laughs> And he just misses with that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers are just watching you, watching every move that every switch. Nice counter. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Nice exchanges for both men in this round. Carries away the left uppercut. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Men step back for just a moment. When are we going to see a jab from these two? He blocks the uppercut. You know the score cards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Okay, he's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. Keep behind each other and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Keep his fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank now. Keep whacking. Go for round two. They used to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you gotta make sure he doesn't turn on him. That's what he's gonna try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Do you believe this? Nice job landing with that right hand count. Best rounds I've seen this year. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because they can push, because they've got the way behind them. They may not be connected, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets off fire. Because someone's gonna get hurt, and someone's gonna win. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. <laughs> Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Nice punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Eternity for them. There's 
the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. But once somebody with excellent footing speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he blocks the left uppercut. Back out of the way, that right hook. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. There's the bell to start round four. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. <laughs> both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. Championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happen. So that left lands. That left counterpart will score. See if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. 
Don't be a fool, don't be sick of it. Make him fight, you're fine. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Even in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got a If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fight? What you do is you fight by the fight. You either give it and back because that's where it comes from, or you play card. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. He's right. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank now. Keep whacking. Round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. here from both men. Oh, he's looking back to KO, and we could see an upset right here. up on their feet but i'm not sure why well now it's about getting back to the corner freshing up get new instructions given to you and they've got to g you up they've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in the problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got rocked! gentlemen a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year well there's no argument right there not that you say it not night
don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pounds just told them, but the squad gets scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not at home, and still might have to grill a brother like foreman. <laughs> when my dogs start rioting, leaves will be falling off trees, you'd think that it's autumn. Yo, I can't stand these rap boys, feel to eliminate all. That's right. I'm trying to raise this stack boy, so tall that it might fall. That's Top strike arm and I lick off the goal, so anything I set, I achieve and more. Black. Soon bring the man them on some kind of tour. Yeah. No flicker bottles in my rider report. I don't know why they would step to the team and I'll send man airborne like Fly B. Come like this, there's some sci fi. It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for the gentleman. He is. Expectations are sky high. What a fight we expect this one to be. Both of these athletes primed and ready. Not a lot of defense here at all. Nice counter shot. Don't want to go tit for tat there in this fight. Then step back for just a moment. Patterson versus Howie, two legendary names that have already fought once back in 1972 for the World Heavyweight title. There's many ways to be the fighter. You step in the ring and you know your divine right to be there. You know your divine right to be the best. And he's the best. He could have intimidate you or talk you out to believing in yourself. And that was what he did with Floyd Patterson. He told to Floyd Patterson to say, this is my destiny. You're just in the way. And Floyd Patterson believed in the first time. Does he believe him? Can he block him out? Can he put his fingers in his ear and say, no, don't listen to him. He's got to get Ali out of his head because if Ali gets in his head, if there's anybody that is the best at that, it's Muhammad Ali. I can see just the world men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Gotta let your hand a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. <laughs> Got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance without a doubt made look so so. And there's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Punch lands. Misses with that big right hand. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. He just misses with that jab. with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He threw the hook, didn't land. He's counter shot with the right hand. Perfect. 
quickly time. And he fails to score with that left hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Oh, he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not clear. He's sharp. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a thick young man's style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Both men step back for just a moment. And he just missed that left jab. Neither man really defending themselves. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to put up. On to the fourth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchange here from both men. You'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the gym, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so like to the out boxer fight and beat them on points. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfect match, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I think that's not your both you, and so I got to respect both of them more than happy. I'd like to see more jabs. There's a right hand. The judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in the At this point, you gotta believe he can't. 
Time for the fifth round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and stand it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. One punch could change everything in this battle. sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How'd you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. These two are the perfect dance partner. Gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is gonna be. We just saw. Let's start the six. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gonna hold him. He's gonna. He's gonna bluff him. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter, fast fighter that could go with three full shot combinations before you even let one off. That would be frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. to this safe. Hey, those punches add up. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one? One, two, three, four, five. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Don't get the jab, and don't get carried away. Mate, he's scapping. Come on. And there's the bell for round seven. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that run, you'll be down coming out. He's getting everything, everything, full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does not, be very, very. 
highly surprised. <laughs> He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in score for us. So much firepower here. How much confidence do you build when your opponent hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get done. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. it up and this fight continues <laughs> Lucky that hook didn't score so final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp needs to be done in this corner. And we enter the eighth round. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that? That's near on impossible, because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even drop into game plan. <laughs> Rocks the jab. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do to fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Carries away that left hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. Early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin, doesn't mean you've got leather skin, it means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone, you've just got to try and pop them skin and go for speed. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. sitting in the corner right now and you got to believe she's thinking how on earth there's the bell to start round nine what a round we just saw let's see what we've got in store for us here what a round what have they got left how can you get better than that that's ridiculous that's stuff you see on video games Took, but was not successful. Watch that jab. These two were made for each other. about punches and bunches that 
that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Gotta ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And just misses. He misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. is paying dividends you can see the stress on this fighter's face no and here comes the 10th round what an action-packed round that was let's see what they have in store for us here this is part of the game plan you knew this was going to happen now you've got to stay still in your mind you've got to think right don't get rattled don't get swayed by the the crowd cheering or booing walk straight to there stick to your game plan show your shots and then let it go but do it at your pace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham, and here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. And he'll face Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall, with that massive 83 inch reach. Brawlers are a nightmare. You've got to be strong and fit. Use that long reach, use that long jab. Do it that way, you'll be safe all night. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Deontay Wilder, bronze bomber. One of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history. His knockout percentage is off the chart. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr.
it is go time, ladies and gentlemen, and you can see there is not a seat to be... So here we go, should be a good one. Then step back for just a moment. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Then step back for just a moment. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. I can change this from both men in this round. So close, so close. How can you separate him? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good punch! This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Speed generates power. Timing is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit in the right spot. <laughs> And he misses with the left. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up. And there's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. <laughs> Neither fighter really can sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He's been setting up this moment the entire fight. He's got to cash in now. No, we don't see a knockdown. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man's style that he's got. to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. That left counter was perfectly timed. Neither man really defending themselves. Misses with that big right hand. I'd like to see more jabs. And a counter left. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. An eternity for them finally comes to a close. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round. There's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Oh, 
As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. A couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drum because when these guys slow down, that's what the punch is gonna land. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Right hand. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you bet and you know you're in there with a binder, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. That counter scores. Catch and shoot. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to come Going round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Both of these men showing exceptional chin, by the way. both know who the biggest power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Good counter punching for both these athletes. He gets out of the way of that left hand. And forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. He blocks the hook. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? He blocks the jab. Not a lot of punch output. Despite what the judges four cards read, there are no losers in the game. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this. Here is the bell to start round five. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover now. They've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab, be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got the chin. You're not going to get any. Nice exchange here from both men. Uh -huh. 
just missed with that big right hand. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Punches coming from every angle. Left punch. Good left counter that lands. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Mate, he's shattered. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. Fight is so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. Start to six. Can they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago? My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood touch. That's what you've got to look at. If you can and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Good counter punching for both these fighters. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Nice job landing that left counter punch. And they get out of the way of that. The greatest Muhammad Ali is down. Do you believe it? One, two, three, four. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Step <laughs> back for just a moment. Exchange punches. It's been all one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. He's ready to go now. Jump all over him. Mix it up. Body and head. Be smart. Change your angles. Great round. Great round. Now relax. Relax. Now don't wait till load. Now he's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. He bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know what the corner now they're saying. When you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a Nazi away from getting stopped. We 
we talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know someone's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. <laughs> Nice shot with the left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect that these fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He threw the hook, he didn't land. Is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in the best. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Yes, I like that round. Good round. Feel good? Good man. And there's the bell for round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. <laughs> Offensive display landing that left counter. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? Well, he's got him right where he wants him. Can he put him away? No, we don't see a knockdown. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the gym, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's all right to actually out the fight and beat them on points. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Beautiful counter punch. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Mix it up, body and head, be smart, change your angle. Good work, that's all. Now breathe, breathe, just get your breath back. Good work. Oh, you can't miss him. Great work. Stay focused. There's the bell for round nine. They used to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure that he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not. Oh, wow, they just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. And now they're right back into the fray. Like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Got 
gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. If they land, we're gonna do no damage. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Skill for skill, top for top. She's not a match made in heaven. This fighter's certainly not gonna outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of you just gotta be smart than them. You gotta be like a little fager to pickpocket them. Got out of the way of that right hook. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counter shot land. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. And every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down. Fight. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of him. Let's do this is the 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. <laughs> One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Todd, you know sometimes when I've done in the ring, you fight like that, and you punch them, you just want, you want, you want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? And he just missed with that left jab. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. It's hard to see much, much more. Much, much better. We've been spoiled. I, I, I'm being unfair. I'm not being unfair since a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. When are we going to see a jab from these two? He blocks that right hook. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's the bell for round 11. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Punch scored.
punch landed. <laughs> Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now you've got two fighters that are right now you must be shot. They put you through willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Good counter left hand there. And he just misses with that jab. Punch, counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges, it's up to you. And there's the bell for round 12. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Perfect counter shot. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. People talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang it. It's that forever hope. You remember the fight at Ivan Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. He blocks that jab. Neither man really defending themselves. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. As you know in boxing, the judging can go all over the place, and that's kind of what we got here, a split decision victory. A split decision, I've enjoyed that. I actually forgot the rounds rolled by. The rounds were that close, they flew by, but what excitement. I could watch another 15 rounds of that. They probably can't do it, but we could watch it. Split decision, good call. Yeah, a good duck. All the belts, my seat. 
hate the grind and sweat the blood of time, my motivation. I work too hard, too long, and I be in the conversation. My team been up, way up, ain't nothing less than domination. I got the game and say, well, I can get in combination. Keep it low, that high sight, don't focus on what's high sight. Sleeping on me till I'm night, night, it's my time and a bright light. Don't have a band, no mind, I keep it pushing, don't ever give them a sound. They go left, you shot it, but they want to talk about you when you down. Motivation. They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. This is the Lighthouse Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd Patterson. Six foot tall, 172 pounds, one of the... And yes, he... The gentleman of... And this one has all of those big... And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Both men step back for just a moment. Beautiful counter shot. When are we going to see a jab from these two? You'd like to see more jabs. <laughs> Patterson versus Ali, two legendary names that have already fought once back in 1972 for the world heavyweight title. We're going to see the true skill of Muhammad Ali. We're going to see snippets, cameos of brilliance from Floyd Patterson, why he was the man he was. Now time has come. We've got the two forces colliding. Can this happen? Will Ali's skill, footwork, speed, smoothness be enough? All that Peter Boo style of Floyd Patterson be enough to close him down, catch him in the corner. Remember, remember what Fraser did to Ali. Can Patterson do that? Is he that kind of fire? Does he have that kind of furiosity? Nice exchanges from both men. In this so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. <sighs> Close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute. On to the second round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. And just as quickly as it slows down, it keeps it back up. Nice exchange here from both men. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Offensive display landing that left counter. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. He's trying to fight his way back into this. That's some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. 
Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Nice counter shot. Left counter was perfectly timed. Punch, counter punch. Neither man really defending themselves. Just a moment. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. I heard that never by saw it. He is down big time on the score. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. Third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. You're fine. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. <laughs> has a real good flow to it. Both men step back for just a moment. Exchange punches. Nice counter. Oh, and they just got their bell wrong. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Carries so much power. Of course they're gonna look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid an extra for overtime. Very close now with 10 seconds to go. Owen Patterson's dazed. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt. Here's the bell to start round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good defense on that right hand. What we're seeing. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is what you get when you're feeling like your king pong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get bent. <laughs> and shoot. Oh, that got Patterson off kilter. Patterson goes down. One, two, three, four. So they'll make it up and this fight continues. Through the hooks, didn't land. He fails to score with that left hook. Big hook. 
Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Counter right hand there. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response, so got back up, took a deep breath, got right. Brush it off, get on with the job. Back into the fray here in round five. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. <laughs> In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got level skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Counter left hand there. <laughs> Not a lot of defense here at all. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Still swinging with nothing left. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than I can. Step. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. There's the bell for round six. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Bro, push him down. Punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know they're on shaking. And that's it. Away from getting stopped. That's counter score. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Trying to answer back. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. When they change, they can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round, and momentum continues to shift. Do you believe what we are seeing? Good counter right hand again. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Left counter punch to score. Counter shot lands. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell sometimes. There's the bell for round seven. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make them fight. You're fine. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Oh, that got Patterson off kilter. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter punch. Patterson's rocked. How did they not go down? Despite what the judges scored, Owen Patterson's day. Many people would have predicted it, but we got a knockout victory. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That was her. Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. 
And yes, he is the greatest, Muhammad Ali. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. So we've seen the stats, we've seen the history, we've seen the walk, we've seen the crowd. Now, all what's left is for the first bell to go. That's all we need now, because the... These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. He missed with that jab. Power punch. These power punches are bruising up his body. No rest for the weary. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Good left counter that lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. You've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. <laughs> The counter lands. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter punch. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. Here we go for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And he misses with the left uppercut. And he misses with that jab. Nice counter. division there's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight it doesn't take much to win it i've seen it so many times one punch changes everything i've seen guys winning hands down they decide to showboat and show up then blam it's over so they've got to stay shut off one punch changes everything this is a counter shot Some nice exchanges from both men in this round skill for skill tap for tap she's like a match made in heaven you can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Beautiful counter shot. Missed him with that uppercut. He parries away that left hook. Good counter right hand again. Both men step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here.
This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just make sure your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How you deal with an aggressive fight? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it a back to that that's where they're comfortable, or you can play cool. Okay, cool. That's offensive display landing that left counter. He just misses with that with the right hand. Perfect dance partner. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Power. That power might be the that power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Got out of the way that right hook. Sam still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Boxing judging can be sometimes. There's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He misses with that jab. How nervous would you get when you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think of You just gotta be smarter than them. You gotta be like a little fager to pickpocket them. And he just misses with that jab. Jab. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. And he just missed with that left jab. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Counter punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers pull each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the trim, take the mind off the text, and everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. On the right. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance without a doubt. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing. Until you turn that hand down. Can't land that jab. Threw the hook. Didn't land. Counter punch. Both of these men 
is showing exceptional chins, by the way. <laughs> The chin. How strong is your chin? He has a glass chin. These are things that can affect the fight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like your King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Perfect punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That was almost a 10 8 round, complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. Raise the bell to start round six. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this. They are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Great counter right hand there. Good counter punching from both these athletes. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. They figure out the combination to this state. That left counter punch will score. Defending themselves. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a practice. They've got to relax. to go. Who's going to get the last shot here in the round? Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this. And there's the bell for round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. moment changes everything especially in this division just missing with that jab if there's anyone that can get out of trouble it's muhammad ali no we don't see a knockdown certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means but they will when they hit be a lot harder this could be really intimidating todd if you know somebody's got the punch power someone's got the speed someone can take you out with a simple jab it can be intimidating it depends on how confident you are as a fighter Some nice exchanges from both men in this round <laughs> I'd like to see 
someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. And he fails to score with that left hook. It's bombs away! This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter shot. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this... There's the bell for round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses how to deal with. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with some hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Land with the right counter. We'll then step back for just a moment. fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt. Bo is dead, and Big Daddy goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom. Back in the same spot again. It happened once. You've got away with it. You can do it again. Swing and a miss with the jab. at how inaccurate these fighters have been. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. for round nine. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Pull him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know, they want to shake your leg. They're not here away from getting stopped. Oh, Bo took that and he didn't take it well at all. Seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. And right back into the fray. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower and harm because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Nice changes from both men in this round. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Exchange here from both men. Whoa, Bo took that and he didn't take it well at all. Let's 
see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath. And here comes the 10th round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'd come out as fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle. He's got a, he's got a bluff. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Just misses with that uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. I've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of these earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try to put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both men step back for just a moment. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. If you have a fighter that's got great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Step back for just a moment. Not many of the people in the division hit like that. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Counter-punching for both these fighters. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope... There's the bell for round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Every time
sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe them, and have a tail. That's what you do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate as they set the shot. Get out of the way, and they'll get the greatest pet. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination maximum respect. <laughs> nice exchange here from both men. Time. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. And Bo is dazed. The three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, but what a result. Yeah, the hate the grind and sweat the blood of time, my motivation. I work too hard, too long, and I'll be in the conversation. My team been up, way up, ain't nothing less than domination. I got the game and say with lock and key in combination. Keep it low, that high sight, don't focus on what's high sight. Sleeping on me till I'm night, night, it's my time in a bright light. Don't have a band, no mind, and keep it pushing. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action. He is the greatest. The Bronze Bomber. Only two. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. He misses with that jab. We'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Start respecting each other's punching power. He threw the hook, didn't land. And he lands a big right hand. Exchanges from both men in this round. 
Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. You get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. Use speed, frustrate, and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, jump over their own feet. Get them angry. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for a fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Perfect counter land. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fight. Here's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. with that jab. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got. He's getting inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Just misses with that big right hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He got out of the way of that right hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than that. Judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter punch. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. See if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're gonna look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? the combination to this safe. They score with that left hand. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of defense here at all. That counter shot lands. Blocks that jab. Both 
both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. Back at it in round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a counter shot. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. How many times can you get in there with someone that's so powerful? Just think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket them. Missed him with that uppercut. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Counter left. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. A certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute. Time for the fifth round. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got a block. They've got a block. They're going to come out now and stand out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He just misses with that jab. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. Good left counter that lands. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. That left hand misses. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. <laughs> Just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. <laughs> nice exchange here from both men. <laughs> He gets out of the way of that left hand. That left counter punch will score. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. We know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye. Here we go in the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. 
Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punching from both these athletes. The counter punching. This fighter's certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you can, and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. And he fails to score with that left hook. That left counter was perfectly timed. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. It's everything we've dreamt of. It's everything we've got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. He misses with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Exchange punches. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. You know, I've been in fights like that. There's the bell start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get stuck it in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He blocks the hook. seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Things showing exceptional gems, by the way. I've seen that happen so many times. Don't take things for granted. He parries that left jab away. Perfect counter shot. That hook was off target. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Nothing but air with that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Back at it again here in round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. It's anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. A swing and a miss with the right hook. Had 
catch and shoot. Left hook missed. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the practice. You've got to relax. Can they figure out the combination to this set? They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Right hand just misses. Good counter punching from both these fighters. That left handed jab doesn't quite score. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Sweet music to his ears. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? Nice counter shot with the right hand. Nice punch. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong, because you know you've got a chin that is not going to attempt to. Big left there, but misses. <laughs> man really defending themselves. These two are the perfect dance partners. Good counter punch. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what. And he parries the right jab away. This is a high octane battle. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. This is the 10. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Can they figure out the combination to this state? Good defense on that right hand. Back 
and forth they go. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counter right hand again. Punch, counter punch. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? The bell, sometimes it could be the same. There's the bell to start round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he's still in front of him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Both men step back for just a moment. Watch that dad. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, and fight. You have to give it and back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you stay calm, play cool. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Quick punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Lands with the right counter. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think? On top of it. There's the bell for round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. defense here at all. Nice counter shot. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? <laughs> he carries that right jab away. <laughs> Offensive display landing that left counter. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. <laughs> Misses with that jab. Wolfman <laughs> step back for just a moment. <laughs> Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's a method to the madness. These are precision shots. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice counter. So 
Well, the judges can't make up their mind. No one wins, no one loses. This fight ends in a draw. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.